everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Jurassic World The Game. What's that? Twice in two weeks. Yeah, damn, Skippy. Why? Ooh, we've got new things to look at because I've been busy a grinding. And we're about, we're probably going to, like, log in and then be kicked out of, of, uh... Of the game in a second because it always every time I open this game it goes in for a second and you think everything is okay and then it'll be like oh the lost connection and I have no idea why it does that but we have the Cryolophosaurus pack oh, yes I did it can we can we get a I finally did it I finally finally friggin played the game enough that I unlocked the newest creature oh are you proud of me oh you're proud <laughs> <laughs> Something new, yes! The Cryolophosaurus, not only is it, you know, a new creature, because sometimes this happens where you, you get a new creature, but I've unlocked it. That's the important part. So, we have a Cryolophosaurus. It is a, ooh, 250. Yeah, of course we're going to instant hatch it. Of course we are. Oh, it's a Dilophosaurus animation. Here's me thinking, ooh, maybe we're going to get something different. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> don't be stupid. Yes, we're not going to get that. Uh, oh, I was about to sell up there. I'm so used to selling things. So, this is the uh, the new hybrid that's coming out soon as well. The Curious Crest takes shape on the horizon. So, if you have a look at it, it's Crest or Frill. On the top of his head is the Cryolophosaurus. So, this guy, this Cryolophosaurus right here, is about to get an evolution. Yes, it's probably going to be... Um, well, actually, we should know. I think I... Oh, wait, no, that was for Jurassic World Alive. Because Jurassic World the Game and Jurassic World Alive are both getting, like, new hybrids pretty soon. Um, so it's really cool to see this guy. Um, and you know what? We are going to max it up because not only do we have the DNA, but we also have the book. So we can get this guy level 40 in this video. So, oh, I'm so excited. I don't have to, like, pull somebody else's images and go, there it is. <laughs> Although it's very weird because it does... If we if we tap on it, it does, like, the Dilophosaur animation of, like, doing the frill. Except for there's no frill. <laughs> right, so evolution Cryolophosaurus lived in the Jurassic tropical forest that is now Antarctic. Well, it would have been a little bit warmer than it uh, it is now, so we'll have a look at its eating animation. So it's that's kind of make it seem like you know it's, it's a fairly balanced one. I love that animation, man. The way it kind of slips on the metal. Oh, it's so good. Look at it. <laughs> Alright, so, let's not hang about. So, 7,200, it doesn't place it at the most expensive. Now, these are all other ones. So, we've got Blue, uh, Diplocalus, Dilophosaur Gen 2, and this weird one, the Barrepidon. Uh, so, the most expensive, actually, is... Ooh, we keep on going. Oh, maybe that's it, the Ambergosaurus, whatever it's called. We already have that level 40. So, if, we, if those two hybridize together, then we're good to go. Um, but the most expensive is 8,000. Now, we need to look at stats. So, 2,758 health and 862 attack. So, um, actually, that's pretty decent. It's maybe like 120 less than Acanthostega. But for 1,000 extra health, I think I'd rather have Cryo, actually. Right, okay. So, 720 instant hatch. Boom. Let's keep going. And luckily, as... As luck would have it, I made the last video on this exactly a week ago. So just before this Cryolophosaurus clocked over, my, my instant hatches came back and I was like, Oh, thank God! <laughs> because each of these instant hatches is only uh, like 250. But, however, when you have to buy it outright, so if we do this and we put it in, it's 1,344. Now saying that, we are saving about 200 and... Uh, 56 DNA? I uh, saw you can book, so... It, it, it's a little amount, so that's five. Get another one. That's six. Don't sell it, James, whatever you do. Try, resist the urge to sell it. You know what? I really like the colors of this guy. That's something my old lecturer used to say all the time when she didn't know what to, to praise a piece of work for. She's like, I like the colors. <laughs> but no, I genuinely like the colors of this one. You know, quite nice. I like the red, a little tinge of, of that. You've got some blue actual, like, it's like a cool brown. It's not a warm brown, it's cool. And even the red actually is quite a cool brown. The only warmth comes from the uh, the lightish brown around the, around the mouth. That, oh, it looks so good. I kind of don't want to lose this because uh, the way it looks right now is so freaking good. All right, okay, let's not waste any more time because we should have, hold on, I want to see the foot slip. 
Go on, do the jump and the foot slip. Whee! So good. We'll evolve it, and of course, we've got instant fuses, so we're not even spending any books for that one. Boom. So what does it look like? At le Ooh! You know, even more warmth. I like it. Yes, we'll feed you. And also, we've got, like, plenty of food, so we do not need to worry about that food. So we'll get you to level 10. We'll get them all to level 10. I had about 60 million, or it was 59 million, actually. It was close to 60, but not quite there. And again, like I said, never the best thing to do. Whenever you unlock a new creature, like, buy one, get a level 20. That's that's how you get the most out of your DNA. Getting to level 40 is only really necessary if you need it for a hybrid, like, that second. Um, we'll instant fuse that. Another 140. We'll get it all to... It's a shame that you don't get to see them all at the same time, but you can just, like, flick through on the, uh, the evolutions thing here. Only problem is, you know, you don't get a full screenshot of it because the evolutions is on the left. And it doesn't matter if you didn't touch the screen, it doesn't go away. So that's a bit of a bugger. Crownophosaurus is one of the earliest meat eaters we have ever discovered. Ooh, is that right? I did not know that. Right, is that to level 20? Yeah, let's get instant fusion to level 30. Ooh. Some darker colors on it now. Ooh, okay. Still, I think I prefer the other one, but I'm very curious as how, you know, how this is going to progress. Until level 40. Are we expecting specs? Of course we're expecting specs. It's Jurassic World Alive. I mean, uh, the game. <laughs> Until everybody thought the game went, no, no, that's the wrong one. Alive. And still got it wrong. Right, okay, so let's have a look. Yes. Feed you. The juice already 1,279 health and 400. I mean, it's a tournament creature, and tournaments aren't even as good as VIP creatures, which is a bit of a shame. All right, so there we go. Get you up to level 30, and finally fuse you. Here we go. The instant fuse. Oh, the crest is a lot bigger. Ah, and also his like top of his head's went a bit curved. Oh, what a crown you have! Woo! <laughs> Uh, maybe now I can see why it has the Dilophosaurus animation, just a little bit. So, there we go, we had 59 million food, and now we have 47. So it takes a good 12 million in order to feed this from level 1 to level 40. But look at the colors! Ah, oh, it looks so good. And its final stats, 2,758 health and 862 attack, which we kind of saw already when we clicked the information button. Right, so you are ready. We'll quickly collect this, get some books back. Cryolophosaurus's interesting face crest was probably used to identify other members of its species, or to attract mates, or to clean the dishes, because we don't really know. Uh, before being named Cryolophosaurus, this dinosaur was referred... That's not... Re 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 um, I don't know if you've made a spelling mistake there. I don't think that's a real word. But anyway, uh, to be nicknamed the Elvisaurus due to the similarity of its crest to a pompadour. Which is interesting because I thought actually they called it, uh, they got it wrong. And I was like, no, no, Elvis is the Paris Rolophus and that's from the Lost World. But actually they kind of referenced that, but for the wrong dinosaur in the Lost World, which is interesting. But hey ho. So now also I have been doing this. This is the VIP stuff. So, um, as you can quite clearly see, we went from all the way from zero da -da 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 -da, to 3,750. So we're about halfway. Uh, yeah, we are. And once we get to the end, we I, I'm hoping we unlock Bumpy, but I don't think we do. Um, I think that's only for tournaments, and I'm really, I should already have Bumpy unlocked. Um, but I've deliberately saved this, because there's di there's weird things going on in here. You've got a Paki Ceratops there, and it says no incubation, and you get it to level 11. So that would be two evolutions, right? You would have th you would have thought. You would have th thought. Right, okay, so let's claim this. Uh, it doesn't need any hatch. Oh, it's just instant. Oh my god, it is as well! It's straight away. A they could do that? They could do that. They have the code to do that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right, that's news. Right, also, would, as, as again, luck would have it, last night, I mean, I, as soon as I saw the Cryal Officer, I thought to myself, okay, let's do this. I'm, I'm, the, I'm gonna put my head down and we're actually going to unlock this dinosaur because I've said it for the past three and haven't done it. Um, and then, last night, I was playing it and a new, like, battle came on and it glitched. Every time I tried to click, 
to click battle, it closed the game. I was quite worried, but apparently this has been addressed. So the bug concerning battles, events had to be reset due to a server issue. We apologize for the inconvenience. And I think the reason was they put two of the battle for the food packs. You know, you, you do three battles, it's mostly commons, and you get food. There was two types, actually. And I was like, oh, that's weird. So I did the regular one, and then that apparently bugged out. So there you go. So we get 250 bucks for co completely free. Uh, 500 DNA, which really seems like you should get a lot more DNA if you get 250 bucks. And 2,500. Oh, okay. Yes, I'll take that. Uh, VIP points. Okay, so we've done that. So the shining armor. Let's see what we get in this pack. Really, what I should do is save these. Because every day you have to do your daily uh, things. And you need to open three packs. Now, two packs is easy because you open a free pack and then you... You know, you watch an advert for the next one. Um, but uh, then it's a bit tricky to get the third one. But anyway, here's the Shining Armor Pack. Sweet, what we get. Uh, no Shining, just a Upo Cephalus, which I guess is a silver. Sort of shines. 130 VIP points. We got the Shining Armor again. Now, again, Ludia are giving me the, um, the VIP, you know, the extra pass thing to showcase, which is nice. But I'd also appreciate it in Jurassic Alive. <laughs> the reason why they don't know is because that's playing favorites. And Jurassic World Alive is PvP. So that would be giving me an edge. Even though, like, I mean, I'm not pro anyway. But uh, anyway. Now, this is interesting. I think this is a completely new uh, decoration. This is the Nodosaurus fossil. I've never seen that before. So that's interesting. I've also got some macro SDNA, which is... Oh, that was a lot. Ooh. And also, even better, a lot of VIP points. Another shining armor. Oh, 30 bucks. 30, 30 ish. 100, oh, 130. Oh, it's 30 is all round. And another shining armor. We get... Uh, oh, Ankylosaur. So that should really be a legendary, shouldn't it? Or something good. But uh, obviously they didn't think that far ahead. Some micro DNA, which is about a thousand. That's not bad. 110,000. So I, we haven't lost that much, I don't think, to buying the Cryolophosaurus. It was like 7,000 each time, right? And we had to buy six of them. Did I really have that much DNA to start with? Oh, okay. And here's another uh, Pachyceratops. Straight in there. Uh, we can sell that for 6,000. How much can I sell the level 20? Oh, I just wasted food on it. Sweet. Okay. Um, now, I could get this to level 30. In fact, actually, if you do the whole event, do you actually unlock uh, Pachyceratops at level 40? No. They only give you three. Why, why do they only give you three? Though they give you an Ankylosaur for level 20, but why not one more? And you could have got like a max level. That would make sense. But no, they... They didn't think that through, apparently. So we'll keep on getting those in our own spare time. Uh, just, oh, yes, 150. Oh, 200 boss DNA. I don't really use that for anything, but there it is. Uh, let's see what else we've got going on. Okay, so you got the battle study, which I think is... Oh, okay, there's nothing too interesting, really. But with this news, you know, we're going to get a new hybrid. And then... I mean, it's a flyer, right? And if we have a look at our sort of dinosaurs, is it... Oh, that's all aquatic, so we don't look at this one. There's Battle Stage event. This is what we want. So the best fly we got is Metrophodon, followed uh, a little bit behind by Zalmonodon. So I'm expecting this new flyer to sort of fit in between them. I mean, nothing can really be beat Metrophodon, let's be honest. Uh, and what is this for? Oh, it's for a rare pack. Heck yeah! So we could get, you know, it's either 500 DNA or 100 bucks or even both. Or two of each. Um, well, not two of each. Two of one and the other. But maybe even in there. Um, and then what's more important, really, is that this pack, I think, gives you a bunch of uh, free VIP points, too. And it's an awkward one. You want... You want amphibians. Uh, but as you can see, quite clearly, I've had to use all my best creatures to win the tournament. As they're all mm, kind of taken. In fact, actually, Ostoposaurus is there, so we can use that. Um, we do have Gorgosuchus, which... Ah, uh, do you want... Do you really want to do that? Because here's the thing. We put an Ostoposaurus, right? They switch to Ichthyostega. And then Ichthyostega can kill me in one hit. So, actually, what we'll do is we'll use one of our free recoveries on Gorgosaurus. Cause he, or Gorgosuchus. Because either, either way, we take two hits to die. No matter what, what hits us. Uh, even the Ichthyostega. So, we'll put you in first. Then... I feel like we want another amphibian. 
But at the same time, I think Ostabasaurus... We could probably go for Armor Matter. Because that way, the, I mean, only the Dimetricanus will have a bonus against us. Mm, I'm thinking we go for... We, we, you know, we're sticking Ostabasaurus. That's what we're going to do. You might be like, why not fuse all the Indoraptors? Well, look, I used them all for the tournament. And each one is a battle in the tournament, right? Because I used two, like, really low-level creatures and then one really good one. So instead of fusing them all together to only have one dinosaur, this way I've got five. And that's five battles, which is, what, 150 cups? Kind of a no-brainer. So we're going to go in here for a million coin, yes. Gorgosuchus, what you got? Oh, we should we should showcase Cryolophosaurus. So we'll do that in the next one. Um, I'm kind of happy with just going for one reserve. If he switches, he can't kill me. And if he goes for two hits, it does like 8,000 damage at a push, I feel. So we should be good. I knew it would be a clear stake. I knew, I, I'm just so good at predicting. Um, so I'm going to go for three reserve here. Um, hold on, let me just, uh, put something on my mosquito bite. Yes, very itchy. <laughs> Alright. What are you gonna do? You can kill me if you want to, but if you do, you leave yourself wide open. Oh, you leave us. Oh, wait, well, I'm pretty sure we've won. It's not guaranteed, but... Oh. Oh, do we kill him in two? No, it's a tiny bit off. Okay, so... The Metacarnus will have... Two? I think I'll have two. That's three. Two. Okay, so... Can't... Oh, he can kill me in one hit. So... I go for that? Because... Unless he has three. If he has three, I'm screwed. He had three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not! Oh, of course, because he doesn't know. Right, so what I'm going to do... Metro... Metro... Whatever. Metrophodon is really the... The one I want to save here. It has the most attack. doesn't get nerfed by anything. It actually gets a bonus against the... Nindosaurus. Uh, hybrid. So, there it is. Comes in for three. Can kill me in two. It doesn't even go for any. Uh, I will now actually switch back into Metrophodon. Um, one, two. Does kill it. Factor in two. And then go for three reserves. Oh, it went damn. Oh, that's not good. He went for three. You, they never do it. It's always safer to go for the two. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Right. This is going to require a little bit of brain work here. Uh, one, two, three. Um, and that's good. Because I think he can kill me in two. He can't kill me in, in one. Yeah, he can definitely kill me in two. And then this is where... Ooh, it's a bit tricky. Oh, my God. Um, what do you think of the chances of him going for three? <laughs> Please don't go for more than one block. <laughs> you don't get the... You don't get the... You don't get the joy of killing me. <laughs> oh, no! Okay. Is it doable, though, with better dinosaurs? Is the You know, we need Metrophodon. Metrophodon is the best. Um, uh, you know what? Sod it. No. No. Hold on. Let's try. Let's try this one. All right. So now we definitely need to go for one block. Is this doable? The last one, I think I had to do two speed-ups or one speed-up. Yeah, one speed-up last time. Oh, he kills me in one. Oh, that is that is terrifying. Okay, I'm going to go for two reserves here. Because if he does kill me, well, at least uh, hopefully he does go for two. And Metrophodon has to go for three, actually. Uh, so I should have two, uh, two spare. Oh, this is awkward. Ooh, because I have to go for three to kill him. And then that leaves him with two block. He's going to have three. And then he, I think one can kill me. Yeah, one can kill me. So actually, as good as this looks, it's, it's actually not. <laughs> so I'm going to go for four here. Hopefully, he swaps out to the Carnus. Oh, he doesn't. Interesting, interesting. Well, I want to make sure he wastes as many turns as possible here. Um, so he's got five. No, he doesn't. He has nothing. Oh, oh, please attack me for four. Oh, yes. That's what we like to see. Or oh, what is it? There we go. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Perfect. Perfect. I mean, we could have blocked for four, actually, to make sure that we survive. But it has to go for two anyway to kill me here. And he doesn't even do that. 
Right, you know what? I, I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna attack with this because it, I just don't have enough. I'm only doing like 2,000 damage a hit, and he's got 14,000 health. Uh, oh my god, dude! Okay! You know what? We're doing it! Okay, the, the game is giving me this now. Thank you, game. Thank you for, for doing this. Oh, I'm Omada killing two of them! Oh, you know what? If, if we don't die in this turn, Omada... I'm just gonna go all out with Omada, because sod it. I think we're in with a chance. I think we're in with it. You're so yes saying there's a chance. There's a, there's a big chance. <gasps> did five kill him? I think it might have. Yeah! Oh, no did it. I, so I paid for speed ups and two creatures and, and none of them did anything. But, oh, matter. Got it for free. Boom. Next 100. Res. Oh, I mean, whether the prices were debatably any good. But the 260, you can't replicate. Oh, another le oh, Is it? Or was that just glitching? Oh, no, it's another one. I'm not paying 288 bucks for that. No, 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 no. Right, let's have a quick check to see if we... Oh, oh yeah, it's 300. When you get that Apatosaurus, man, it is beautiful. Uh, 31 million coins for two. Yes! Oh, it's so good. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's see what we can get in here. Because we still need to showcase... Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Still need to showcase Cryolophosaurus. Um, and hopefully we don't need to get any glacier creatures, because glacier creatures put you in that horrible bio, and I don't like it. Uh, we'll sell a Lanqua there, because... Oh, two Alanquas even. Whoa. Oh, there is... So, we refreshed all of them. We got, like, 700 bucks. So, we spent 150 bucks, got 700. So, we're down... Well, we're up 550. We got very lucky there. I very rarely find that, though. Uh, we got seven of those. You know what? We're getting our DNA back. I'm going to trade... It doesn't make sense to really trade Apatosaurus for DNA when you can get the same amount in VIP points and VIP creatures are better. But DNA can be used for literally everything. So, let's have a look at friggin' Cryolophosaurus. Um, let's go for Cenozoic and land. Unfortunately, we have to do that. Now, where is Cryolophosaurus in this? Um, so here we go. You've got level 30 um, VIP creatures and they're just better than level 40 tournament creatures. Because we have to go a little bit lower. Oh, I've, I've got a Tappy Jalacephalus. That's a level 11. What am I doing? So here we go. Here they all are. And it'll be somewhere in here. And it's actually not in here. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a little split with Stegoceratops. And then the rest. Even Carbonemis is in here. I forgot I maxed that thing up. So we'll use Cryolophosaurus first. Or do we? We have Cryolophosaurus switching. That's what we'll do. Um, oh... You see, I want to put dinosaurs in that are high enough that I doesn't put... That there's no chance of Cenozoics coming in. Because I want to be in the helipad, man. That's awesome. I love that that uh, battle arena. Okay, so that's our prizes at the moment. Could be these. Hmm. Hmm. Cryolophosaurus. Yeah, we don't put him in first. We'll put him in second. And we'll go a little bit higher. Ah, that could still be... It does leave room for something. How about this? A full-on carnivore team. Now, that kind of creature is very rare. I mean, they, they could get the rhino hybrid in, I suppose. Fingers crossed. There's no Cenozoics. There's no way not to get a Cenozoic in a battle. Like, look-wise. There's no arena that's only land. Yes! But it is level 30 Indoraptors. <laughs> Alrighty! I think, I think we're in with a good shot. What? He goes first? What? That's not fair. He's probably going to swap out, isn't he? It's cool to see a Pelodactylus at level 40, though. Oh. Oh. So you've chosen death. <laughs> I see. I like the cut of your jib. Now die. Die. Pitiful flying thing. <laughs> Oh no, an Indoraptor! Hold on, what's what's the voice for that? Well, I am an Indoraptor! <laughs> That's the one! Ah, uh, you're gonna have fun with the voice modulations. <laughs> right, oh god! Oh god, that's a lot of damage! Ooh, but, um... You've still chosen death, though. Um, or have you? I might have chosen death if you go for three. But then, I'm pretty sure... Actually... Ooh, this isn't good. Everything... The Pachycanosaurus and the Ragisaurus, or Ragistega, are good against these creatures, but the Cryolophosaurus is actually not very good at all. Because <laughs> I only have like 900, is it? Is it 900? Or 862? Ah. Ah, he's got over 10 times my uh, my attack and, and health. 
Ooh. Oh, goes for a full of six, though. Wow. All right. Okay. I'm going to play it that way. Come on, Cryo Lavasaurus. You got this. Uh, we're probably going to have to go for, like, a massive attack. Uh, is that everything, or did it have one block? It did, yes. Six. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, you're probably... Oh, you're definitely going to die in three here. But you know what? You went out with a bang, and that's the important thing. It looks cool. It's very smooth. And there's not actually too many spikes. So, you know what? I, I gotta get... I gotta hand it to him. Well done, Lydia, for not putting spikes on something. Like crazy. No. It does it's really nice. I do... I, I do like it. Right. So, let's finish you off. Oh, I think just... I think just... Oh, I think one more and maybe he would have survived that. <laughs> All right, just staying in wins. Ah, uh, remember it used to go rage. Oh, I remember that. Ah, uh, the good old times. Maybe I'll put that edit in just, just for old times in case. You know what? You've stayed here for the end of the video. I'll do it. I'll, I'll remember because I'm editing this straight away. Yeah, well, uh, and of course I've got coin. Ah. Uh, don't you love just wasting? Yeah, that was brilliant. Well, anyway, apparently there was something ready here. <laughs> More food, sweet. And DNA as well. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, well, we'll probably be back before you know it because they're already sort of teasing uh, the new hybrid for Cryolophosaurus. Maybe it'll be, be the best. Maybe it'll be the best flyer in the game. I don't know. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye. <laughs>